everyone welcome back to my channel so my name is nurse katiana on this channel we talk all about nursing we inspire we motivate those who thought they couldn't to do it so in today's video i'll be just talking about the difference between a pct and a cna so question of the day are you a pct or cna how did that help with your advancement of becoming a nurse do you feel like it's a really good experience and recommend it for everyone so leave those answers down below and let's get into this video so in today's video i have my notebook and i did a little bit of research and someone the other day they asked me they were like what's the difference between pct and cna and i'm like you know that's a good question and from my knowledge it's kind of interchangeable but i'll be going into the details next to it so what is a CNA? A CNA is a Certified Nursing Assistant. They are required to take a training program, both physical and written. Uh, you have to be 18 years or older, have a high school diploma or GED. You're gonna get fingerprinted and a background check. So the difference for me, what I noticed what, was that a CNA has to go through the board of whatever state that they're trying to get certified in. And a PCT has not. I, have, I didn't see that at all. So a CNA, what can they do? They can provide basic care to patients such as feeding, bathing, uh, they can do vitals, and that's so far the gist of what they can do. They can position them, reposition them, or transfer them from the bed to the chair. Uh, simple things like that. They are definitely under the care of a RN or LPN or a supervisor, and they have to be monitored. The pay typically is $9.90 through $15.55. Remember, this is for Florida. Florida is trash. <laughs> so the pay is going to depend on your state, what facility you work on, and experience. People typically that work home care get paid a way better than people that do work in facilities. Just keep that in mind. So a PCT. A PCT is a patient care tech. Typically you have training 23 weeks or longer you have a high school diploma and you have to take a pct certification class now the other day i went and i asked my co-worker and i'm like what's the difference between a pct and cna she was like well i am a cna and i'm uh signed up for the hospital to become a pct and during that time they can train me to do things such as phlebotomy and ekgs but you do not have to take those certifications at my hospital at least so that's kind of a little interesting fact to tell you about that so what do pcts do pcts work with nurses by assisting with food intake and output drawing labs simple adls which is a daily living skills activity daily living skills something like that i'll leave it if i find it ekgs and cpr so basically from my understanding a pct can do a little bit more than a cna they actually help with basic skills in the hospital they can do your oh they also can do your um acu checks for your diabetics so that's something that's interesting so the pay again this is for florida and we're trash is 12 to 16 dollars an hour which is not bad because lpns in florida can start at 18 dollars an hour so it's not bad at all and it's not a long training class so if you're interested go ahead and look into that um definitely leave down below in the comments if you are a pct or cna which one do you recommend um how do you like it just things like that and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching bye